kick things off. I know we've, I can see people uh, still parking outside. Um, I want to thank Demi with Invenergy uh, for having us here this morning. Welcome to your new site. Yeah. Um, I'll have you tell a little bit about what you've got going on. I want to thank you uh, especially for this beautiful breakfast and for hosting. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all so much for coming. Really nice to meet so many community members out here in Alba. Um, we just opened up this office uh, about a month ago and are now open full time, which is very exciting. So Vanna joined our team last week. Uh, so anybody with questions in the community can always pop in. Uh, more specifically, what you would have questions about is that we are a renewable energy developer working on the Sundance Wind Project, which is coming to town. Um, it'll be just a little bit south uh, east of, of Alba. So this is a good home base for us to have landowners pop in with any questions. Um, as we move through the development phase, which will take another few months before we go into construction, um, this is going to kind of be where we're hosting like I said, landowners, community members, anybody to pop in with any questions. Um, so a little bit about the Sundance Wind Project. It's a, it's a 199 megawatt project that um, is mostly going to be in Woods County, but we'll interconnect our project out in uh, Major County. So that's uh, 72 wind turbines that are going to be coming for the project. And, um, you know, I could talk a little bit about the benefits to the community. It's all on these one-pagers here, so I don't want to take up uh, too much time. So any, any one-pagers you want to take uh, to educate yourselves and your, anybody that might ask you questions, I encourage you to take them um, or tell people to pop in and visit us, and we can tell them all about it. But we're really excited to be part of the community. Uh, we're going to have an operations and maintenance building that's central to the project, so it's... Uh, going to bring a number of permanent jobs to the area as well. And one thing that's probably really important to you guys as community leaders here is that there's going to be a construction phase where a lot of folks will be coming to the area. And so if anybody has services that they offer, uh, you know, restaurants, places to stay, rental homes, we collect all of that information and hand it to our construction contractors. So that's usually what um, I tell folks like you. We collect that information and uh, can send it out to them so that they can make use of those services. So, um, any questions for me right now? I'm really, really glad to meet so many people here and have, uh, you know, friendly faces to wave into through the windows. So, really appreciate you guys all coming. On and that vein, it, I know we have a light crowd. If you guys don't mind, I'd love for everybody to go around and introduce themselves. Um, Demi is here, what, every other week? Every two yeah, weeks? Yeah, pretty much every other week. So, um, yeah. welcome her. We had a, we'll have, talk about it here in a minute, but we had a Young Professionals event this past week. But anyway, if you guys don't mind, real quick, go around and introduce yourselves. I'm Kelsey Martin. I'm the Director of Marketing, Director of Marketing and University Relations at Northwestern. Great. I'm Haley Reagan. I'm a lender for REI Oklahoma. We're an economic development company. Okay. I'm Mandy McKinney. I'm the Financial Manager at the Foundation. Sadie Beer, I'm the Development Officer at Northwestern's Foundation Alumni. I'm Jody Bradford with the Alvin Chamber. I'm Erin Davis, I'm a University mm -hmm. Relations Specialist with Northwestern. So. Blake Jordan with Beatles Nursing Home. Yeah. Tanner Roberts with the Office of U.S. Senator James Lankford. Yeah. Normal Ritter with Armour Systems. Yeah. Sonia Williams with Northwest Technology yeah. Center with Woods County Economic Development. Thank you guys. And Tanner introduced himself. That was my next thing <laughs> to introduce him this morning. Thank you for being with us. Um, we've had a lot of events uh, in the community lately, one of which was held this week. I'm going to put Haley on the spot. Tell us a little bit about the Young Professionals meeting. Go ahead, you guys can sit down. I don't know. I feel like you have to stand. We kind of had compiled a group, Kelsey, myself, Alex, and Jody, to start a Young Professionals group. And we had our first event on Tuesday. We had 35-ish, 25-ish, sorry. <laughs> Go big. 30. Yeah, 25, yeah, 25. I guess I was thinking 30 with us included. People who attended, we had some other conflicts. I think we could have had a bigger turnout. Um, we collected surveys on people. If, there, if you guys know anyone who's interested in attending, let us know or join our Facebook page, Northwest Oklahoma Young Professionals. Um, that's where we'll kind of post our next events. We're going to gather back together and see kind of where to take the group, what people are interested in doing, um, evening events, daytime events, morning events, what works best for the group. So if you can just follow our Facebook page, reach out to us if you have any questions or would like to know for more information. Great. What, what's uh, the cutoff? I was going to say, I'll, I'll add oh, our, yes. we're kind of, sorry, we kind of would like to see 40 and under, but also 
only want it over. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'm in denial about this next birthday. But he's <laughs> on a supervisory role. There we go. But that's what I was going to say. Maybe if there's a point in time where we you need a chaperone. <laughs> Um, but we did put a minimum age of 21, just because we will be serving alcohol at events. Um, should I mention the children? Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, that's awesome. It was a great event. Well, <laughs> sorry. Great turnout, and it, it was a lot of fun. So thank you guys for all your hard work on that. Um, coming up, November 23rd is our retail Christmas open house. Get out and shop for the holidays. Spread the word. Shop local. Um, followed by December 7th, uh, we'll do our candy cane cash giveaway. If you guys have seen the boxes in the stores, every time you make a purchase, you can put a coupon in the box and be entered um, to win chamber bucks that can be used in Alva. Um, it is a shop local campaign. Um, we give away money on the 7th. It's a lot of fun. I remember uh, one of the first years, it was like zero degrees out. We had 100 people with their tickets. It's, it's a great time. Um, we'll again have the Christmas parade. If your group would like to be in that parade, contact myself, Jody, or uh, Deb and Paul Kaur, uh to get involved with that. Uh, we also have the plan to have a caroling group. This is open to anyone. We've reached out to the churches. Um, we're going to hopefully have a trailer. And anyone is welcome. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then we'll end after the parade in front of Santa in the Holtz Claw Pocket Park where the Alva mural is. Um, and we'll carol there and have Santa pictures. So it should be a great time. Uh, please come out and enjoy that. Um, does anybody have any other events to share? I, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, today, um, we're kind of making history at Northwestern. The oldest building on campus is being renamed into Ryerson Hall. So that was Fine Arts Building that is being renamed into that. Our dedication ceremony is today at noon and it will be held just kind of on the north side of the building. It's an outdoor ceremony. Um, short, simple, so um, come by and help us honor the Ryerson family and everything that they've contributed to Northwestern. The Oklahoma Arts Council is having a grant writing workshop the 21st um, from 10 to noon at the Technology Center. And at that same time, there's also a Census 2020 meeting at High Plains. As community leaders, um, I think Alex can validate this as well, it is very important that we get the message out and have everybody counted because that impacts not only our representation, that impacts dollars that we receive to the state, to the county. So we need everybody counted and we need everybody spreading that message because it is extremely important. This only happens once every 10 years and we are very um, underserved and underrepresented. So I saw where Ian had created like a census 20. 2020 Facebook page. Have we developed something along those that lines? Is, we have actually, um, we have someone that is that is okay. working on that and they, we had a meeting at the Oklahoma Economic Development Council and they presented a bunch of marketing stuff that they just are releasing for all cities and stuff to okay. use. I'm sure ERDA so, was able to just rule theirs out probably. So we are, yeah. Okay. Or we have a, a paid staff from Woods County. Okay. Um, Ethan Sackett is doing that. Okay. So, so we could see something at least like he's that. in charge of that. But if, I mean, if anybody is welcome to help. I mean, we take anybody's help okay. on mm -hmm. promoting that. And it's projected that we have a higher population that we did than we did on the last census. Right. So it's very important that we get everyone to fill that information out and know that it is private. It is not information that can be used to go to marketers. Um, please put your children on there. Um, we need everything. Again, it counts. And the other thing April is points. If yeah. you are in Oklahoma, if you are in Alva, Oklahoma, if you're in Woods we County, started. Oklahoma, even if you're a college student, you get counted. So, well, and I think what? that's something that has to be, you know, communicated. As a, when I was a college student, I just thought my parents were filling it out for me. So we really need to communi communicate to that group that those students need to fill it out as well 
Say something about undocumented um, citizens, since that's something in Northwest Oklahoma that... Yes, uh, undocumented citizens can fill out their information. They are not in any jeopardy by filling that out, is how it's explained to me. So we need to um, that's, that's encourage that as well. That's something to be encouraged by professors as well. I mean, do we, Sure, do that we, is something, and I know Ethan is working on the wiki. Uh, just some information, yeah. like I said, the Department of Commerce and the they didn't know that they were in charge of it <laughs> until, you know, when Brandon took over and he's like, oh, I'm in charge of it. So, but they have really kicked off. And like I said, there is a meeting. I'll be staying for the Art Council meeting, but there is one in High Plains. Yeah, that's I'll be there. Thursday. Yeah, I'm going. So, any information, we'll try and break out and maybe send it out through newsletter or something and try and get it out to our okay. um, databases. Yeah, we'd appreciate. Any Even our homeless population is being documented. I mean, yeah, it's we have to make sure that everyone is accounted for. Again, for grants especially, um, it, it really does help us to have numbers. So, and I will tell you, um, they sent out they being Department of Commerce to all 77 county assessors for addresses and stuff, and they had one reply. So we, we've really got to work with our county people and stuff too and encourage them. I, I, we know it's a headache and we know it's a lot of work. Like I said, the count starts April 1 if you're here April 1. May 31st, they will then start, there's going to be like a thousand people that the census is going to hire, the U.S. Census, and they'll be going around, you know, because this is the first, think about this, this is the first one that is online. We've never had an online census before, and this is the very first one. Being in rural Oklahoma, there's a lot of people, and I'm, I'm one of them, that struggles to have internet going on the other side of the river. So um, there's a lot of people that don't have that, and they're going to go around. If they don't feel comfortable, maybe we want to open an office or have them go to the public library. I mean, there's some things that we probably need to talk about as a community to offer people that don't have that capabilities in their home that can go someplace and get counted. Yeah. And the library did this in past census, so they're very prepared for this. Um, so the library is the public location to go in and fill that out. So thank you guys all for coming out on this Friday morning and please stick around and eat wonderful food. So thank you. <laughs>